we live? Yes, we are. All right, okay. Good afternoon. Excited. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016. It is exactly 12 o'clock noon, so we shall begin our council meeting. First on the agenda, actually, not first, but zeros. A roll call, please. <laughs> Pete Hamill. Randy Funker. Here. Brad Hunt. Here. Zach Sawyer. Here. Greg Eels. Thank you. Um, now first on our agenda, public comments. Are there any? There are none, so I'd like to move forward into the consent agenda. Make the motion to approve. Support. Do you have any questions at all? One comment I have heard is the Friday grill outs have been awesome, so that's great for the SCDC. We'll keep that. So may I please have a roll call? Sawyer. Aye. Kent. Aye. Funker. Aye. Going into new business is the discussion of garbage services and rates. Right now, neither of our garbage haulers are here, so I will move on. If they happen to show up, we may go back to that, but I believe that maybe that's a discussion we can have with them aside from our meeting. So since they are not here. No, it's automatically part of their contract to go up Thank a you, quarter. Thank you, Yep. Correct. As of August, August 1st, 1st, as of August 1st, 2016, we are now into the fourth year of our contract with them, and it is a four-year contract. The base rate has gone up 25 cents. Yep. Anything more? We're not sure where we're at, so we'll just wait till we hear from the garbage haulers. And I think with the contract the next year, we should probably get together with them. And I know they have some concerns. Swartz does, and maybe we can. Sure. Work out did it. you? Did they make mention that they were not going to be here? Do you know? No. Okay. I thought then, they, yeah. I thought Swartz's yep. were going to be here. Okay. But well, I visited with them earlier this morning. We'll definitely have talks with them either this fall or January when it comes time for renegotiating. I'd rather get that process started early Sooner. than All right, rushing this up fall. and doing it. Okay, well, let's get to October. Yeah. How does that sound? Okay. Um, number four then, since no action is happening and no discussion on number three, is uh, considering the pay estimate. Number two, and this is on the hangar project. I'm going to try to keep my notes together here. Um, Todd, is there any updates to share with us on that, or just? Uh, there's not been tons of activity out there as of yet. The the concrete removal is done. I think the the grade is uh, is there for the new surface. I think they're paving either later this week or next week, and I believe the building is for like August 22nd okay. at that time frame somewhere. Thank you. The pay estimate for this. Second payment is a $33,806 and 69 cents. So Thank move. You. Support. Thank you. Last request for questions or comments. Roll call, please. Kent. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. Bunker. Aye. Okay. Number five, considering the approval of the event center naming contest, we have the results and they are in. May I have a drum roll? Thank you, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, the four names that came in were either Crossroads Regional Event Center, the Water's Edge Regional Event Center, the Water's Edge Pavilion, or the 1860 Regional Event Center. The results were we had a 46% for Crossroads Regional Event Center. The second was 31% for the Water's Edge Pavilion. 15% was the Water's Edge Regional Event Center, and at 8%, 1860 Regional Event Center. Those four people who had submitted those names will be receiving. Each of them will receive a uh, $50 Sheldon Dollar certificate. And then, as you know, the top person will be awarded an additional $50 in Sheldon bucks, Sheldon dollars. Something came across the table, though, recently in the newspaper about maybe combining names and having the Crossroads Pavilion. I just wanted, I shared that with some of you. I think some of you read that in the paper. So it is up to us to name the center, make the decision to, um, with where we're at, and also then decide uh, or award the top prize. If we did want to combine the top two, then they would each receive an additional $50 in Sheldon Bucks. I've actually heard or had several people approach me and mm -hmm. say that it is too long. So yeah. to shorten it to two words mm -hmm. rather than four. What do you think? 
personally, I like combining them. It's my opinion. I liked it too. Works. Works. Pretty simple. Yep. Yeah. Not a lot of talking. All right. I mean, that's fine with me. So that's what we would do then is award these for their uh, prizes. And mm -hmm. then if we did combine them, then we just take those top two, the Water's Edge Pavilion, that person, and the Crossroads Regional Event Center, if we decided to do that, and give them additional $50 in Sheldon Bucks. Sheldon Bucks, Sheldon Dollars. I don't. Okay. Okay. So what would the uh, official, Crossroads, official name be? Crossroads, the Crossroads Pavilion or Crossroads Pavilion? Two words. You like it short and sweet? Is that what you said? Four words is too many, Zach? Yeah. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> Crossroads Pavilion. I can't make a motion. I'll make the motion. To name it? Crossroads Pavilion. Is there a second? Support. Any other discussion? Okay. May I have a roll call, please? Funker. Aye. Hint. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. It is now Crossroads Pavilion. So it'll be good to get the event center off of our. <laughs> is it being etched in something as we speak? Or? No. Okay. You want to change it again? No. Did you come up with another? <laughs> Unless you get your stone and tablet out. <laughs> start carving. Yeah. Okay, and that was great. We had a good turnout. So thank you for all those who submitted names and for those who voted. And now we have a name for our wonderful event center. And then speaking of the event center, going on to number six. Um, before you and in your packets was a draft copy of a request for proposal. I did want to point out a few things. This is a key piece of having a successful event center. Um, this process we need to get out as soon as possible. So we were asking that this does, um, we get this out soon. We issue it uh, with a submission deadline of September 16. Uh, we would like to do a selection of a short list of candidates who have returned those by October 7, have interviews and negotiations done by October, November of 2016, and selecting a finalist by November 11, 2016, as whoever we decide will be the managing crew of the Crossroads Pavilion um, will be a, a important part of the finalizing of the building. Are there any questions regarding the draft copy? One question that was brought up is the uh, submitting them to the city of Sheldon with our address to the attention of, we want to have someone, whether it's Kurt, Angie, or myself. That's something else we need to decide. Also from there, what we'll talk about is forming a crew, getting a small subcommittee together from SCDC, and the council that can review those and then make the uh, recommendation to the council as to who we're being interviewed and uh, before we make the final decision. Is that something? Would, oh, go, ahead. go ahead. I was just going to say, I would have the contract sent to you, the okay. mayor. All right. I have no problem with that. You just get a name on them, have them sent in. And Brad, what were you going to suggest? I, I was just going to ask if it's something. I know with Angie's plate, she's probably going to get a little bit more with Scott leaving. Um, I wonder if maybe that could go over to Kurt, you know, kind of oh. with the SCDC and that. But I'm fine with the mayor, yeah, too. Yeah, whichever. Whichever so. is good. Mm -hmm. well, sure eventually, they're going to hand up a no, Kurt's hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. could add the Mayor Sheldon, Iowa, email address on there, too, the yeah, Gmail. And then we could just, so we just forward it to Kurt and... Yep. Yeah. You could facilitate those meetings and that committee. Okay. Would you be willing to yeah, take that I responsibility? Also, I think Mayor's going to get to that about setting up a, Thank you. Sub, right. a subcommittee to try to review those and ultimately come back with a recommendation. So, yeah, I'd certainly help facilitate organizations that. But I think a committee needs to be set up. So Very good. I have not really talked to all of you about who to serve on the subcommittee because I think. Uh, we are going through a little bit of a growing change here. <laughs> and I think a lot of us are taking on a few extra duties. So I'd like to have two councilmen um, on there, as well as Kurt and myself, and then maybe from the SCDC, 
board, and we were thinking of Kevin Kane with his accounting um, background experience to help us through when that information comes in, and he can better pencil that out than any of us could. Um, I know Zach and Brad have served on the event center from day one, so I would like to see one of you continue on that, and then I thought Randy also getting you on board possibly with that. Zach, you can... You want to take that one on? On the research me. committee and... No, if you're busy some, with other things, that's fine by me. Yeah, we'll spread I it can, out a little bit. Yeah. Well, you okay. can. So it will be Kevin Kane. We have to talk with him first to make sure he would be on board with that. Kurt, myself, Zach, Randy. Five. Keep it small. Okay. Okay, uh, now back to the draft. Are there any questions regarding the draft copy, information that is on there that you want to see or that we don't need on there? Are you okay with the dates? Fine by me. Okay. Yeah, I think the dates are fine. Yeah. Gives them enough the better time faster we get it out there, the better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We don't know. There are a few people that are interested, so I think the sooner we get it out there, the better. Yep. So with the draft copy being good to go, a subcommittee established, then do we have a motion to approve the um, committee and the draft copy and the dates? Make that motion. Support. Thank you. Any further discussion? There are none. May I have a roll call, please? Funker? Aye. Sawyer? Aye. Kent? Aye. Okay. Number seven, we have the consideration of selling a couple lots in the Sunshine Edition. Before we get into much discussion, I want to bring you up to date on a couple of things. First, I'd like to take two separate actions because they are two separate parcels. Um, on the second parcel, there was a contingency on there where it stated he would like to start the second project after the sale of the first home. However, after speaking with Corey and Kurt, they have been in touch with Jeremiah Postma, who is out of town. He would like to remove that contingency, stay with the resolution that we have in place with the 12 months of purchasing. He would start the construction and then within another 12 months have it completed. So he would like to remove that, resol that contingency, stick with our original resolution, it's only verbal right now with these two gentlemen because Jeremiah is out of town and cannot sign that, but he will sign that when he returns. So if we do approve this, we can add on contingent to him signing the removal of his contingency. And then did you check in with the abstract, Micah? I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, um, but I'll try to confirm that, and then at the time they take care of that contingency, then we'll uh, hopefully get that squared up, too. Okay. And do, would you mind sharing with the other gentleman uh, in case they didn't hear our conversation? My recollection is, but I, I don't know this for sure, but my recollection is with this program, it would be buyer's responsibility to supply any abstract as opposed to the city. If anybody has a specific memory as to that, let me know, but otherwise I'll go back and double check, double -check. how we've handled that. Okay. Okay. So, so he's planning on building two houses within 12 months? 24. 24. Construction has to start within 12, 12 and, yeah, okay. and completed within 24, correct. Yeah, okay. And that's the standard with those dollar lots. Yes, yeah. that is what okay. we have in place. Mm -hmm. And he, otherwise the assessment takes in. Right, and if he does not, then it's a $200,000 minimum assessment. Correct. Sure. So the okay. first would be on lot 11 in the Sunshine, Sunshine Edition, lot 11 of block 3. So that is the first one. Again, there is no contingencies on that other than Micah will check into the responsibility of the abstract. I did have to fly up in case anybody wants to Thank you, Todd. And Micah, would you suggest that if we approve these, it would be based on your findings of that abstract information? I'll include appropriate language in the resolution. Okay, thank you. So, I'll, any, make, go ahead. I'll make the motion on the sale. And first that is lot. a first sale. Okay, yep. block three, lot 11. Is there a second? Support. Thank you. Any discussion on the first sale? Like you were saying, that's per what he finds out, though. Yes. Right? He'll okay. include that on the resolution. Yeah. Roll call, please. Sawyer? Aye. Kent? Aye. Funker? Aye. Okay. Then the second one is block three, lot 12. And again, this is where he would... Uh, Jeremiah will agree to sign off on that contingency, and he will stick with our resolution of building in 12, completing within another 12. 
make the motion as long as he contingent upon his signing of the contingencies. Okay. I'll support that. Okay. Any discussion? May I have a roll call, please? Bunker. Aye. Hands. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. Thank you. Number eight on our agenda is the consideration of a TIF application, and uh, Kurt is going to share that information with us, if you would, please. Thank you, Mayor. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we, we have recently received a TIF application from Osage Equities, which is a commercial real estate company. Um, who intends to construct a brand new 10,640 square foot building to be utilized for future, or for future commercial retail development along Highway 18. Um, Osage intends to purchase the current Deb and Allen Ben Manen properties located at uh, 315 and 317 Park Street, as well as the David Camise property, which is located at 107 North 4th Avenue and Highway 18. Upon the com completion of the purchase of the property, Osage intends to demo the existing structures and ultimately replace them with a brand new prototype commercial retail type building that will be utilized for future retail development. The total investment for this project from Osage is just under $1.3 million. As part of this application, Osage is requesting assistance as upfront TIF in the amount of $74,970 to assist in facilitating this project and the upfront costs associated with land acquisition, demolition, and due diligence costs. In return, Osage will agree to a $350,000 contract for development and minimum assessment agreement with the City of Sheldon to help facilitate the project. This $350,000 minimum assessment will generate approximately $10,710 in new commercial property tax annually and just under $75,000 um, over the next seven years. Um, the SCDC Executive Committee has reviewed this application and is making a recommendation to the City Council today um, for your consideration and approval. Any questions I certainly can answer. How soon would they plan to start once we approve? As soon as they uh, they sign closing, they will, okay. the closing date is to be determined. I know that the real estate agent and the property owners are working through that. Mm -hmm. As soon as that's done, Osage plans on doing their due diligence ASAP. They want to get the project moving relatively quickly, so. Sounds good. Thank you, Kurt. You bet. Do you have any questions for Kurt? Oh, it'll be a nice okay. project. To move forward on yep. clean up that uh, corridor a little bit thank you for your hard work you bet. you bet okay then do we have a motion to approve this TIF application for Osage make the motion to approve support thank you do you have any questions comments may I have a roll call please Tonker aye Hens. aye Sawyer aye um, last in our agenda is comments. Anything, um, Lyle, Todd, anything new and exciting? Oh, come on. It's been a busy summer. Yeah, it has. Okay. Council, any comments that you would like to share? I had a few. Uh, <laughs> well, I, no, I had a few uh, people upset that the pool was closed on Saturday. Yes, I and have to. And I got some information, tried to explain to them what the problem was with football, volleyball, Vacations, the the staff, there was not enough staff to open that pool, which is unfortunate for the city of Sheldon, but it's terribly time, unfortunate that it happened and you know knowing that time of year, but yeah. I, I do know many of the kids were also gone on mission trips, so it's yeah. unfortunate. It's hopefully it will not happen again, but but it did. For clarification too, moving forward, we're looking to try and stay open through August twentieth. Okay, wonderful. Is it possible to open only portions of the pool? Well, that's what I wondered. If you, you do that sometimes. Okay. Close the slides many times this year. And yeah. You have to keep it in the shallow window. Unfortunately, there's only two available on Saturday. And normally, they have a, a six guard rotation. I think maybe are, even seven. I don't know. Are our rec director and assistant, are they certified? I think so. No. Uh, Jacob, Jake, Jake is? Is okay. Josh is not. And Josh is not. So if need be, Jake will go sit a chair. I mean, that's the difference yeah. between, between being open and not. 
That's amazing. Well, I'd like to see the assistant try Josh, to get it. Too. I was going to say. I would like to see him try to get certified. And yeah. Because Jake yeah. can do that now, right? Yeah. Yep. Can he work with Josh? He can, Jake can certify people? Uh, nice. Yeah. yeah he taught my Maybe I'll get mine, too. Um, I have an old one. Thank you, Todd, for telling us about that. You have an old one? Yeah. You want to renew it? <laughs> um, I'd like to see about that, too. I know August 20, you guys have been talking about that, but I wonder what does it take to keep it going longer? Something that maybe we can talk about, you know, afternoon hours and whatnot. I shall. Maybe I'll become a lifeguard. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, any other comments then, uh, Zach, this way? Okay, I will. Uh, Tomorrow, our search committee has a meeting in the morning, and um, we are beginning the process of the pursuit of replacing our city manager. So, not sure what information, but uh, we will be meeting tomorrow morning just to give you all a heads up. Make the motion to adjourn. Approve. Support. Support. Second. Approve. You're going to say nay now when we vote. A <laughs> roll call no, to adjourn, no, please. Don't do that. <laughs> Bunker. Aye. Thank yes. you. Sawyer. Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you.